This is the only place you need to go if you need cheap and fast coins to build your God Squad. Hands down, they have the cheapest prices. Make sure you go to MMOXP.com and use code WOLF for 5% off. Link is in the description. Now I know y'all didn't think y'all were just gonna slide a title update past me and think I wasn't gonna notice, huh? Well, you did, man, because I didn't even realize they had a title update today, bro. This video would have been out 20 minutes ago. If you guys know what I mean, it's because I'm late to everything, bro. I, I, but I really did just find out about this title update. We're about to get into it, man. Before we get into it, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. Become a member of the Wolfpack. Link is in the description. And if I did write lyrics, I could rap like Bone Thugs and Harmony or Twister if I really put my mind to it, homies. Okay, just so you know. Now, let's talk about this update. When does next gen Madden come out? On the 4th? I got the Series X, so I'm ready. But I have two questions about Series X or PS5. I'm getting the PS5 here within the next six days. All right. I got a little hookup on that PS5. And I'm going to get it with Spider-Man because I want to swing through the city. All right, man. Don't judge me. All right. I ain't going to do none of the missions on that game. I'm just going to swing around. That's it. I'm going to just beat up people on the street if I can and swing around the buildings. Maybe look at myself in the in the windows or whatnot. You know what I mean? Anyway, two things I wanna know about the next gen Madden is, first, am I gonna be able to play with people that are still on PS4 and Xbox One X or PS4 Pro or Xbox One S? Man, all the consoles. Am I gonna be able to play with those or am I limited to people that only have the Series X? Man, it's gonna be like 10 people, bro, because nobody really has them yet. The other thing is, with next-gen stats, because I play regs, if they update, let's say uh, my man Antonio Brown runs a route in a Sunday game, then they patch with next-gen stats, whatever, and his route is ran like that in Madden 21. Let's say I sub in a wide receiver that doesn't get to play, right? And let's say these are crossing routes. Say I'm running Trey Y Flex, PA crossers and I have Antonio Brown running the crossing route. Now he's going to run the route like he does in, on Sunday's game. Depth, speed, whatever he does on that route, they're going to put it in the game. Now if I sub in someone that I want to use that's not Antonio Brown, that doesn't have registered stats because he didn't play in the game Sunday, what kind of crossing route is he going to run? Are we defaulting or what's going on? I'm a little confused. I need clarification. All right, so the key highlights... Gameplay tuning bug fixes, four new superstar abilities, three new X-Factor players, 12 new superstar players, avatar customization UI improvements. Okay, gameplay updates. Let's see what kind of gameplay stuff. Let's see if they uh, caught on to my stuff, man, my glitches. I doubt it because they never do. Fixed an issue causing the ball velocity to not always reach the desired speed on some specific QB passing animations. All right. I mean, I guess desired reach a desired speed on some okay so some of the passes that i've thrown do seem like they're lobbed i don't know if that's what they mean by that but i, I didn't notice something like that tuning to improve deep to improve deep zone defenders reaction to crossing routes from a single receiver side for highly rated defenders i'm gonna look into that man because that could be clutch man but it just depends on the defender remember they're saying for highly rated defenders which probably gonna mean your uh, Richard Sherman's, right? Your Tredavious White. Those guys are probably going to see the benefit from it. I don't know if anybody else is. You're probably going to have bums that are still not going to react to passes. They're still going to just look toward the sidelines while the ball's going in the air. Did you guys see my gameplay? Did you guys see that guy look into the stands? My man looked into the crowd, bro, looking for the water boy. Or he was looking at the cheerleader, man. Something was going on. He just turned, looked the other way, and was just staring at him. I, I don't get it. Tuning to slow down cut reaction time for linebackers and man coverage facing away from the QB. Okay, tuning to slow down cut reaction time. All right, so they're making them a little bit faster. Okay, I see what they're saying. All right, all right I got it. I, got it. I had to mentally see it in my mind, but now I know what they're talking about. So whenever I guess you're scrambling and they're, you're running man defense on, on defense, right? And the QB takes off. And you know how your defenders still follow the man routes? I think they're going to cut back a little bit faster to stop the QB. That's just what I'm thinking. Fix the run block, tar uh, run block targeting issue with the gun wing flex weak inside zone play. That I know about this right here, okay? 
when people would run a uh, gun wing flex week you could actually shoot the gap fairly easy because of the way the play was designed they couldn't really do nothing on that inside zone it was like an insta shed Fix the rare issue causing QBs to appear to use an under pressure pass while not actually being under pressure. That's a DDA thing, bro. That's when like the game takes over and they force you to throw it like if you're under pressure. The problem is, is that when DDA takes over, it's not supposed to say it. You're just supposed to throw the ball away, but they're lying and they're, they didn't catch on to what they was doing, right? So the game forces you to throw it away and then they said you were under pressure, right? So now they're not going to show you. <laughs> just gonna make you throw the ball away bro they got caught slipping that's like when they had madden 19 and the madden 20 practice field you guys i think it was even this year too new superstar abilities and superstar x factor update based on nfl player performance up to this point in the 2020 nfl season all right so that's pretty cool i don't really play uh uh superstar or any of those modes bro to be honest with you guys fixed an issue causing defenders and man coverage versus a block and release running back to sometimes instantly switch their assignments to blitz when seeing the running back start to block, resulting in the running back being left uncovered. Now, I knew about this. However, I didn't really use it a lot, homies. It wasn't something that I was always looking for. Okay, newly added superstar abilities, film study. Ooh, defenders with this ability will have full vision of plays. The offense is run for five times each quarter via Coach Cab. Is my man on the Ravens still with this? Because I've been using the Ravens uh, offense. Or is it's not right because that would have been that would have been last year. Oh, I think I'm who's got it. I need to know in the comments right now. Who's got it? Talk to me, homies. Based on the feedback received from the Madden 21 beta, we reworked this ability to provide more balance across our multiple game modes. One of those adjustments is based on players telling us it was too easy for the ability to activate, making it too powerful. In response, the ability will now require a variable number of repeated offensive play calls before activating. This number will scale up or down based on the current quarters as well as the game's quarter length settings with the required amount always being displayed via X-Factor Vision and Preplay. Additionally, defender knowledge of these repeated plays will be wiped out when a quarter ends, giving the offense a bit more leeway with how they run their play calling. So if you're running the same play over and over, someone's going to be able to see it, man. I need to know who sees it. Someone talk to me, bro. Put in the comments. Backlash. Ball carriers with this ability will cause increased fatigue penalties against their tackler with tackled via non-conservative tackle. So that means they're going to up the fumbles because of this ability? I'm going to have to test it for you guys. Recuperation. Players with this ability will recover from the effects of fatigue at an increased rate between plays. All right, I'm going to have to. I'm, I need a list. I want to do film study first, though. Uh, honorary lineman. Non-offensive lineman with this ability will be will frequently win impact blocks with blocking defensive backs in the open field. I mean, sometimes my man, my man just passes everybody and he doesn't really block nobody. Ooh, here we go. Alvin Kamara, he's gets satellite X-Factor with jukebox. Levante David from the Buccaneers gets a run stuffer and deflator. DeForest Buckner, the Colts unstoppable force inside stuff. So the Colts might be to move too. Ooh, DK Metcalf, deep out elite, red zone threat. Terry McLaurin, Washington football team, deep in elite outside apprentice. Aaron Jones. Remember I told you guys this guy was going to be the running back to look out for? They just made him more powerful, bro. As long as they keep his speed. Backfield mismatch and recuperation. Calvin Ridley, mid out elite, outside apprentice. The Raiders, Darren Waller, tight end apprentice, short out elite. Uh, the Jets, mid and elite. Brian Burns, Panthers, speed star. Hey, what's up with the Chiefs, bro? <laughs> I, or, or the Steelers. Bro, what's up with the Steelers? I'm seeing Bengals, Buccaneers, football team, Bills. Josh Allen gets quick draw and escape artist. Ooh, you guys remember I was using the Bills for a little bit. Okay, hold on. Let, let me look at something real quick. Uh, oh, no. Look at all the all the failures of the patch. Demarcus Lawrence, man. Oh, what a failure. Rob Gronkowski. Wait, why is he a failure? I thought he just caught like a deep pass for like 40 yards, bro. Give him some credit, man. Zach Ertz e uh, from the Eagles. <laughs> the following players are no longer superstars. Losing all abilities, bro. How sad is that, right? Justin Simmons, the Broncos. Oh, man. Wait, didn't Justin Simmons have like... No, that's the Cardinals. Matt Ryan, Falcons. Lost all his stuff. Julian Edelman. He's been stripped of everything. Carson Wentz. Oh, they need to just kick him off the team. Ryan Kerrigan. Courtland, the Broncos. Broncos took a big hit today. 
Eagles, I mean, if you were planning on using the Eagles for anything, I don't know, man. Uh, superstar in the yard updates. Okay, my question is, there was no franchise updates in this in this patch, bro. What are they doing to y'all, man? I mean, they got it. They got at least do something, right? Maybe like change the change the font <laughs> to the screen. Put something in there for franchise, bros. What are y'all doing to my man's in the franchise, bro? Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Love you guys, man. Peace.